All right, so uh, I guess we can start the, the talk for uh, the sessions. Uh, thank you very much for uh, Professor Wan for hosting us here. Uh, this is like a, a brief uh, experience sharing on, on teaching our uh, capstone course. So uh, my background is in chemical engineering departments and uh, to, to set you uh, up for the, uh, for the course conditions, uh, we are teaching a final year students. Uh, so that's why we are uh, working with this uh, capstone course where uh, all of the uh, contents are uh, the aggregations of uh, uh, learning uh, experience of the students from the first year, second year, third year, up to their final year. Um, now uh, we have the uh, the four uh, outlines here. We first uh, introduce you about the uh, our process design course, and um, we also have uh, also introduced our uh, MOOCs uh, development on 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 the on the uh, course itself, and we also. Uh, also briefly introduce to you about the uh, our flipped learning experience and also we also bring you our uh, key takeaways on on these uh, talks so uh first thing first um i would like to uh, briefly introduce about the uh chemical engineering uh, departments uh we uh, basically try to teach about the uh, process engineering so it's mainly focuses on the design of a process plant, uh, the operational, the control, and also the optimization of the uh, yeah, chemical plant uh, based on the, uh, the chemical, physical, and biological uh, processes. Um, secondly, uh, we want to um, develop, a, uh, develop talents that are able to work with the uh, uh, designs, a uh, process design, uh, uh, chemical designs, and try to come up, come up with a solution that will uh, potentially be quicker, cheaper, and efficient. And that's why we in, uh, use our uh, process design uh, as our, our department's capstone course. And then this is the, a course that mainly tries to develop the skill of the students to work with the uh, process de departments so that they can organize, they can design uh, of a chemical plant. And the, the organization part is that they need to work in groups so that they can organize themselves. Uh, and then this is a an very an, op uh, uh, an open, uh, problem course so there is no uh, single solutions to to be uh, to be taught but this is a, an open problem uh, development for, for the students so this is our uh, syllabus for for the uh, process design so you can see that um, this is a required course so every uh, students in our department use this but not only in our departments this is like a for the students of, of all uh, the universities in Taiwan, and moreover, is also required uh, course by uh, by universities all around the world. So, process design like the the, the only single uh, course that is required by almost every chemical engineering departments uh, worldwide. So, uh, students are required to uh, apply their uh, knowledge on the uh, unit operations, uh, chemical process principles, and et cetera. We, we also include the economic analysis and everything. So uh, this is a group work. So we, we use uh, minimal supervision so they can uh, use their time to uh, get together with their, with, with their peers to uh, come up with the solutions uh, for a, a, a process plan that is uh, already uh, given in the, in, the, in the beginning of the course. And we try to, in, uh, I guess, provide the e-resources for the students. But uh, as we know, this is a very 
uh, tough course. So uh, they need to implement everything from their uh, first year to the uh, final year of uh, learning experience. So uh, by only having a, a semester of this course, this, this, the workload is quite uh, enormous. So uh, the, uh, course, the, the objective of this course is to develop the students' uh, understanding on, on the uh, process synthesis, uh, the design and experience. So this is the, the main uh, uh, objective of, for our course. And then uh, we want to enhance the student's skills on process simulation. And this is the key part. When students want to design their, their, their uh, process plan, they need to simulate the process to verify if the process itself is feasible, is workable, and also uh, fulfill the, the, the fundament, fundamental laws, fundam fundamental uh, physics that is uh, already given by the, by the previous courses. So they need to propose a design concept for our uh, process design competitions. And uh, for the timeline of the course, this is the, a week uh, timeline. So the course itself is on the, on Monday, the first four hours of the of the of the week, and we spend almost four almost four hours each week to teach the the content of the course. And you can see that for these uh, four hours of content, it's not enough to deliver everything. That's why we want to develop this kind of a uh, MOOCs uh, teaching content so that the students can uh, access their uh, teaching materials outside of the, uh, the, the, the four hours. So basically they can use their own uh, time uh, for, the other, for the other days. So uh, as we know that this is a capstone course, then uh, we try to uh, introduce the, uh, the, the process simulation uh, try to uh, verify the, the, their, their uh, exercise uh, through software. And the main software that we are using, and this is a worldwide uh, well-known software, this is the so-called Aspect Plus. So this is a market leading uh, chemical process optimization software for uh, the chemical industries. And because this software itself is a licensed uh, software, so we are bound to uh, install the software in our uh, servers. So we don't, uh, we cannot install the software to the to the students' uh, laptops. So yeah, so we need to think on how the students have the access to the to this uh, to that to that uh, particular software. So uh, this is the. Uh, uh, I guess the, the framework of our course. So we, the process design itself is uh, the aggregation of the, the previous courses, the previous uh, required course, like we have fluid mechanics, thermodynamics and mass balance, process control, process safety and everything. And then uh, we, because this is an open problem course, we try to uh, collect the problem itself from uh, from our plan visits and also from the uh, process design competitions uh, problems. This is the national uh, Taiwan process design competition competition uh, problem that they are uh, usually uh, provided. And uh, in the previous years, we only provide students, uh, of course, by learning by doing. Uh, that we provide them servers, we have them, uh, we give them the virtual PCs access points so that they can access to the software. They have, they have also uh, access to the uh, the main uh, software Aspen Plus, and also we have the Team Freeware as our remote access uh, platform, and also Mentimeter for the uh, uh, I guess the uh, <clears throat> the feedback uh, platform for from the students. But now we develop a new way to do this because the students have their uh, opinion that by only giving them the software, giving them the, 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 the hardware, they don't have the resources on uh, getting uh, used to the, the software itself. That's why we, de we develop the so-called the on-demand online materials, uh, the most the online tutorials, and also we have the certification. So we, 
we use this so-called assistive learning so that the students can, um, yeah, I guess uh, have more time and more resources to learn on the uh, Aspen Plus software itself. So that when they have the uh, higher understanding on the software itself, they can implement that uh, process simulation software to their main uh, process design course that is uh, designing their own uh, process plan. And then uh, after they, they have uh, the, the simulation results, they can show and also uh, yeah, sub submit their, their final reports to as their, as, as their uh, uh, final project of their, in their final year. So uh, what we have now is uh, the hardware uh, part is that we have the uh, fully updated servers with these uh, memories. So we have a very big RAM because there will be a lot of uh, students accessing the same uh, PCs at one time and to, to serve these uh, demands. So we need to have a lot of uh, memories. And then we also provide a virtual PC servers that can serve 50 students at once. So you can see the scale of our students. Uh, one class is uh, almost 50 to 60 students. And at one time they will uh, uh, access the same uh, platform. And this will be a uh, trouble, uh, troublesome if, if we don't have enough resources to do that. To do that. So, uh, but lately we also introduced the Windows Server 2019, and we also developed the remote desktop connection platform so that the students can access the software uh, and we can solve the problem on how, uh, we can eliminate the problem where the students need to go to the, uh, to the classroom, need to, the, to go to our computer center to access, to access the software. They can work at home, uh, you, they don't have to uh, really worry on the uh, uh, their their PCs, their laptops that is uh, not adequate for the for the software itself. So they can just use the remote desktop connection, and then they can get the access uh, through our servers. And uh, we use uh, Team Viewer. This is for the students' uh, access previously. But now we use the remote desktop connection, which is internally uh, installed uh, from their uh, laptop. So they don't have to really install another uh, software. But, so we eliminate the team viewer, but previously we used the, this platform for the students. And we, when we do the uh, classroom face-to-face uh, -face meetings, uh, we use the Mentimeter so that uh, students can uh, also uh, ask questions directly and we can also uh, uh, give them some uh, uh, get some feedback from from the from the students right away. And this is our uh, some of the uh, feedback from the students when we use the Mentimeter, so they can you can have these uh, interactive uh, classroom. And as we explained before, we have the plan visit, so students can get a real uh, life experience from the uh, when they designed the plan. The, their, their equipments, they know exactly what kind of ex, ex, equipments they are, uh, they are trying to design. And we also have the, uh, the chemical com engineering competitions. And then uh, this is the results from our previous years that the students can have some uh, performance in the, international, uh, the national uh, process design competition. This is our uh, uh, recent uh, result from the students' uh, performance after having these uh, uh, the most the most uh, platform and also the the online uh, on demand platform is introduced so they can perform well on the uh, national process design competition and this is uh, one of the the, the advantages that we develop the most uh, course they can get the the completion uh, certificates and by doing so the students can have the the, the certificate itself, when they want to apply for jobs, they can use it uh, as their uh, additional values to their uh, uh, to their credits. And it's also mentioned about the Aspen Plus. This is uh, very uh, very related uh, software by the industry. So basically, students when they show these uh, the certificate, they can uh, get the job easily because of these qualifications. So. Uh, 
Now work with the MOOCs itself, we uh, have several platforms. First is from the iLearning platform. This is the, the internal platform by uh, our university, National Chongqing University. They have their iLearning. This is like a internal uh, website, internal servers that students can have access to. And we open a, a whole year uh, videos, whole year, to, whole year tutorials on the Aspen Plus so that if the students require uh, some information on Aspen Plus, even though they are not in the final year, they are in the first, second year, and they can directly get some access to the uh, tutorials. And we also developed the uh, uh, three more uh, MOOCs courses. This is uh, uh, put, uh, these, co these courses are put in the uh, open edu uh, platform. And this is the, our MOOCs course. We also uh, try to promote this course to our international uh, collaborators. So we have uh, all over the world, a worldwide exposure on, on this course and uh, students from chemical engineering department can have access to these uh, the uh, MOOCs content. So the concept itself for the MOOCs uh, is that uh, for this uh, process design course, we we have the uh, objective that we want to design the process plan. And uh, on top of the uh, theory, on top of the uh, fundamentals of the uh, chemical engineering, we try to introduce the, the process simulation software by first we have the introduction to, to Aspen Plus course. Uh, and also we work with the uh, more uh, intermediate uh, introduction to the Aspen Plus, and then we have the more advanced uh, courses so that we can uh, have the uh, final uh, object, uh, final uh, objective that we want to finish our, fulfill our process design uh, uh, teaching. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we, we will have this, uh, this uh, platform so that we can, we can achieve our uh, teaching objective, ob objective. We also work with these international uh, universities, and that's why uh, we would follow the new southern policy by the Taiwan government. And we have the uh, beginner, intermediate, advanced course on the MOOCs uh, uh, <clears throat> platform. And of course, because we are sharing with the, our international students, we have the multilingual uh, setup. So we have the uh, subtitles. And also, we also introduce, introduce some kind of uh, AI and VR content to our uh, most parts. So uh, the other thing is that, as you can see, we have four hours of uh, time slot teaching the process design. For the first three hours, we work with the process design itself. But in the final hours, we have uh, an hour on uh, letting the students get, uh, get their hands into the process uh, simulation software. And we do a flip learning uh, settings in, in this kind of in this kind of a course so that we uh, I guess we put uh, some problems and we put the, 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 the video so that the, stu the students can see and learn uh, uh, prim we, they can see the, the, the videos in the in, in the previous parts and then uh, they can implement the, the, the knowledge that they can they get from the videos on the on the same day we have uh, on the same week that we we well, we do the, the flip learning. So uh, I would like to share our videos on how the students have the uh, interaction. So we have the computers and setups and they have discussions and they, get, they make their group and then share, they share the, uh, the knowledge that they have got from the, uh, the videos that we've given in the previous weeks. And they, this is a very intensive uh, discussion that they have in, in, in our course. So, uh, from these uh, introduction, we we can uh, give you the, the several key takeaways that uh, the in chemical engineering this the process design course is very very important so that it, they can uh, aggregate all everything that they have learned in the uh, first years, to second years, and the third year. And we also emphasize the use of the process simulators. And by doing so, we can develop the students' understanding on the and and their skill on the, on these. Uh, uh, content and 
we know that the students can integrate the chemical process design and by having this uh, process design course and we increase the student exposure by not only on in the classroom but we have them at the uh, yeah i guess we have them uh, outside the classroom by using this uh, remote desktop uh, connections we I also have uh, developed the teaching materials from the beginner, intermediate, and advanced uh, material for this part. And we also show you how we develop the remote infrastructure. And then uh, we also have the uh, potential integration for the, uh, for the courses on, on their first, second, and third year. And uh, we also uh, give you the, the experience of teaching this uh, capstone course. And we also able to engage international interest by these uh, multi, multi, multilingual subtitles. And we use the uh, MOOCs as the cross utilization from the flip, flip learning and the problem-based learning uh, settings. So that's that for, for me. Thank you.